Good day learners! Welcome back to my class. For this video, we are going to talk about solubility. For our most essential learning competency, you should be able to investigate properties of unsaturated and saturated solutions. Are you ready to learn? Let's go! Solutions like sugar and water have two components. The components are solute and solvent. Solute is a substance that dissolves in a solution, usually present in small amount. Example, sugar. Solvent is a substance that dissolves the solute. It is usually present in greater amount. Example is water. Some substances dissolve easily in water. If you stir 3 teaspoons of sugar in a glass of water, the sugar dissolves quickly. But, if you keep on adding sugar, there will come a time when it will no longer dissolve. Solubility refers to the maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved in a certain amount of solvent at a certain temperature. The table shows the solubility of some substances at 20 degrees Celsius. There are three types of solutions based on saturation. Number one, unsaturated solution. Number two, saturated solution. And number three, supersaturated solution. Consider a 100 ml water at 30 degrees Celsius. If I add 10 grams of sugar, the sugar dissolves easily. This solution is called unsaturated solution because water has the ability to dissolve the sugar. If I add another 10 grams of sugar, the water easily dissolves the sugar. It is still unsaturated solution. If I add another 10 grams of sugar, but this time some sugar particles settle at the bottom, and no longer dissolve. It is now called saturated solution. So what's the difference between unsaturated solution and saturated solution? If the amount of solute dissolved is less than the maximum amount that can be dissolved, the solution is said to be unsaturated. Unsaturated solution is a solution which can dissolve further amount of solute at a particular temperature. If maximum amount of solute has been dissolved in a solvent at a given temperature, the solution is saturated. Saturated solution is a solution which cannot dissolve further amount of solute at a particular temperature. Example, if table salt has a solubility of 36 grams in 100 ml water at 25 degrees Celsius, solutions containing less than 36 grams of salt is therefore unsaturated, and solutions containing more than 36 grams of salt is saturated. Factors affecting solubility Number 1. Temperature Solubility varies in temperature. In most solid, an increase in temperature causes an increase in solubility. For example, a teaspoon of sugar dissolves faster in hot water than in cold water. Why is this so? Increasing the temperature of the solvent speeds up the motion of its particles causing the solute particles to break loose from the surface of sugar crystals. In a saturated solution, where solutes no longer dissolve, applying heat and increasing its temperature will dissolve the solute. If more solutes are dissolved due to the increase in temperature of the solution, it becomes a supersaturated solution. Supersaturated solution is a solution that contains more solute than the maximum amount. This kind of solution is unstable. It cannot permanently hold the excess solute in the solution. Number 2. Nature of solute and solvent 
Oil does not mix with water. When you try to mix oil with water, they separate into layers. This is because the solute and the solvent are not compatible with each other. Another example is chalk. It is not soluble in water but is soluble in vinegar. Light dissolves light is a basic rule that chemists follow. It means that a solvent can dissolve a solute or substance whose nature is similar to it. For example, a polar solvent can dissolve a polar solute. A polar molecule has a positive and negative end. Since water is a polar molecule, it can dissolve a polar molecule like sodium chloride or table salt. The positive and negative ends of a polar solute in a polar solvent interact making the dissolution process possible. A non-polar molecule like oil can only be dissolved by a non-polar solvent like gasoline. Number 3. Size of Solute One way of increasing the rate of dissolution of a solid in a liquid is to grind the solid into smaller pieces. When you crush the large solid into smaller pieces, you are increasing the surface area of the solute exposed to the solvent. The dissolving process takes place at the surface of the solid. On a large chunk of solid, only the particles on the surface comes in contact with the solvent. But, when you crush or grind the solid, more particles are exposed to the solvent so the dissolving process happens faster. The smaller the particles are, the faster it will dissolve. Number 4. Stirring When you add a tablespoon of sugar to a glass of water without stirring, it will take time for the sugar to dissolve completely. Mixing or stirring the solution speeds up the dissolving process because stirring moves the undissolved sugar and brings more water molecules in contact with it. The rapid motion of water particles causes them to interact with the solid particles resulting for faster dissolution. Ocean water is an unsaturated salt solution. Its salinity is about 3.5%. The Dead Sea has a salinity of 25%. Since it is saturated with salt, the water is uninhabitable for fishes. The high salt content results in a large amount of buoyant force such that it is nearly impossible for swimmers to sink in it. 